Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be doing a Canva video tutorial, as in how to create videos in Canva. We're gonna specifically gear them to creating videos, video mockups that you can use in Etsy, which is something that not a lot of people do, so it might be a good chance to differentiate yourself from the crowd. Now, this tutorial is gonna be led by Michelle B, so if you guys are appreciating the time that she is investing into creating them, just make sure to drop a comment below and say, even if it's just a simple thank you, and hit the like button. So, let's get started. Real quick, before we get into the tutorial, just wanted to remind you to take advantage of the weekly print-on-demand giveaway. There's a link in the description and it takes like 10 seconds to enter. Two winners are selected every single Sunday. This week, sponsored by Flying Research, print-on-demand research tools, Automate POD, print-on-demand design creation automation, All American Graphics, premium pre-made graphics for your designs, and Bubble Scout, the only Redbubble niche research and validation tool. Again, link in the description. Also in the description, you'll find a link to my eight-day print-on-demand mini course delivered to your email inbox and a link to my print-on-demand Facebook group. So check those out, guys. All right, let's get straight into the Canva tutorial. If you sell your print-on-demand on Etsy, you may have noticed that Etsy really like us to include a video with our listing. But how, if you sell print-on-demand, can you create a video? Um, well, I've got a hack. It's a Canva hack, and uh, I'll show you how to do it. It's simple when you know how. What are Etsy saying about videos? Etsy say, over here, buyers are loving listing videos. We know that shoppers are more likely to purchase an item if the listing includes a video. ka -ching. Based on a July 2020 analysis of over 5 million buyers comparing the purchasing behavior of those who were shown listing videos to those who were not. Now, I've noticed an increase in sales since I started using video. Uh, you might want to give it a try so here we go open up canva now i use canva pro i understand not everybody has canva pro i think there's certainly ways to do this with not canva pro but i'm using canva pro up here you go create a design and uh oh there's a few rules to um, an etsy listing you need to know uh, the video needs to be between 5 and 15 seconds. There's no sound, so you don't have to worry about that. They like a square aspect ratio or 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I'm going to go with square today. Less than 100 megabytes and over uh, 1080 pixels resolution. So I've picked Instagram post, which is... 1080 by 1080 it's square I use that one because then I know that if I want to use it on my social media I can so click on that and here is my screen I want to make sure you can see that I'll add a page because it helps it just sit right there in the middle now when you open it so you notice they've got a lot of templates you can use like there's thousands of them and if you find one here that you like go ahead and use that. But for today's tutorial, I'm going to use my own template, I'm going to create from scratch. And I'm going to show you a new feature um, as well. So upload whatever it is you want to go on your image. Um, let's scroll down, let's use this one today. So this is a picture of Ryan. Now you can upload your own artwork into here. You can even upload the temp, the um, the mock-up you want to use but I'm going to show you that Canva have a new mock-up feature which is pretty clever so let's have a look at that so you have your artwork on there and then click on your artwork and then you'll get the effects button reveal itself click on effects and you'll see that they now have smart mock-ups let's click on see all smart mock-ups and you will see a range of mock-ups that you can use in uh, Canva. Scrolling all the way down, I'm just going to use a flat t-shirt, a flat white t-shirt. Click on it and there's Ryan's face on a t-shirt, but he's too big. So click again on that same t-shirt and that icon and go up to the menu where it says fill, click on the down arrow and click on custom and you can change the size of the image you can change where the image sits on the garment so we want that to come up a little bit higher maybe make it a little bit bigger 
and you can even change the garment color if you wish horizontal position vertical position size once you're happy with your image click apply and now you have your image on a t-shirt I want to put a background so over here click the background button click a nice neutral background so I can see the white t-shirt on the background let's make him a little bit bigger on there so you can see it so now I've got my mock-up I want to add a little bit of animation to it so I over here to elements and I am thinking I would like to have pointing fingers or arrows so let's try arrows click on arrows and all of their listing for arrows come up but if you go up to the top and you click again on the icon you can limit it click this uh, put a tick in the animated button and then you will have only the animated effects come up and then you have you can choose be as creative as you like choose which arrows you like let's uh, maybe choose this one for here you can make it smaller larger scroll it so now you've got a little animation happening and then you might want to include some lettering so over here you click on the text button and um, they give you on Canva all of these uh, ideas so let's just for the sake of the exercise click on one here that I liked feeling cute now if you want to change the lettering you need to ungroup it first so we'll just ungroup it click away and then type over the top Ryan Ryan cute there we go and you can change the colors whatever you like to do there so now you have have a cute little animation if you look up here it goes for six seconds and that's fine it's more than five seconds but um well actually let's play it and see what it looks like so up here at the top you can click on the play button and it will play the little animation and that's fine you may like that but you can actually add some more animation to it if you like and by going up here to the top corner where it says animate so click on animation and a menu will come up and if you hover your mouse over the top of each of these um, menu items it will give you a preview of the animation it will add to your page breathe fade pan rise photo flow photo zoom tumble I like tumble photo this there's a lot um, and these appear to be free animations and these one with crown these are probably only available for those with a pro account so let's pick the tumble animation so now we have um, a new animation to look at let's play that and see what that looks like that's a cute animation now just a really quick thing you can do is if you want to like double the length of it I know this may sound obvious let's just make a copy and let's have a look what that looks like now it goes for 12 seconds so it plays for six seconds and then it tumbles again so now you've got a great little 12 second video that you can add to your work go up here to download and download it upload it to your Etsy when you're ready and let's have a look at the one I prepared no nope, not there one I prepared earlier let's get rid of that page one I prepared earlier and let's double that as well and play this one goes for seven seconds so that's the first one let's have a look at the next one we'll start at the end I'll play you what it looked like at the end this one went for I can't remember how many seconds this one goes for 14.3 seconds let me show you how I made it create a new page and um, let me find what image did I use oh my exploding Sun so I go to my uploads find my exploding Sun and there it is I want to put that uh, that on a uh, long sleeve top 
So I click on effects, click on smart mockups, and this time I'm going to put it on a model shot. So scroll down until you find a model. I've used a female model, so I might use a male model this time and click on it and the sun image will go on the t-shirt which is great let me just make that bigger so you can see it however it's a, still a little bit big so we want to click on the icon in the center on the menu where it says custom we're going to make it a little bit smaller on the chest we're going to stick it up a little bit higher on the chest and now we have our image apply once again, you can put it on any color background you like, any color shirt. But this image is the wrong shape for me, so I'm going to crop it. Click on crop, make it a bit smaller. Crop it in, very nice. So that's the image I want. And yes, I want to put it inside of a telephone. So how do I do that? Well, it's easy. Elements, frames type in frames and the frames will come up and then you'll scroll down until you find a telephone a cell phone we call them mobile phones cell phone hover your image over the top of the frame and it will click in trim into place put it on a bit of an angle if you like anything you like and now we've got the image but I want to add a video in the background so what I'm going to do over here is go to videos and I used a graffiti image so I typed the word graffiti and there's oh, tons of to choose from but I chose one of these this one's a nine second video so I chose that and I want to put this in the background you've got to be a really bit careful because if you put it over the top of your frame it will click into your frame which is what you don't want so make it the right size to the side and then let's position it backwards and then slide it into place oh yeah slide it into place there now let's see what you, you can if you click on this now it will give you a preview of what that looks like that's great and the next thing you want to do is add some lettering to it so once again over to the text button just selected one of their um, their suggestions and there we have it exactly the same now I added also added an additional um, effect I added an animation of te tectonic to this um, just double check when you're doing this if you have more than one page that you apply the tectonic to both pages you don't have to you can take um, the effect off one and leave it on the other and another thing that you can do if your video is running too long, you can click on the video and you can cut your video down. So you can just use these guides to bring it in and it tells you now it's at 12, 11, 10 seconds. So you can cut your video down. You can slide your video along, cut down the front, cut down the end. So I might just, I might, for the sake of the exercise get rid of that one and just play with this one um, so now I've got my video ready to go it's got the tectonic effect let's have a look again at what that looks like so it will attract the eye it makes it more interesting you're talking to your target market the type of people you expect to buy your your uh, design so it's another one so lastly my last effect is this football one and this is a real one that I uh, did actually sell even though Kansas City lost I did actually sell some of these t-shirts so once again I've gone over I've brought in my artwork Kansas City 2021 going to the bowl and I instead of putting it inside of a um, inside of a phone or a mobile or sorry a cell phone I had a look over in elements went to frames again sorry doesn't like that when I do that frame nope, for some reason it does not like that elements frame 
Ah, oh, there we go, a bit of a glitch. So I went to frames and I scrolled through and I noticed that they had a frame that was like a film, like the old fashioned film. So I clicked on that, I put my image inside of that frame and then I decided I wanted a, um, a video playing in the background. So I went over to videos, found a great football image, uh, football video, American football in the background. I don't know anything about American football, but you know, I hope it worked. Stuck it in the background, but I thought, you know what? It's too bold. It's too, it's taking away from the image. So I decreased uh, the transparency of it, made it more transparent, should I say. So it's sort of sitting in the background and it's kind of moving. And then I decided, yeah, let's add a little bit extra. Let's do um, some fireworks. So I wrote in fireworks. There it is there. And once again, limited it to animated fireworks, apply the filter, and you can see there's a stack. You can use any, like you can put a little skyrocket in there. You can add a little bit more fire. You can, you know, go to town on it but don't, <laughs> you don't want to take away from the thing you're trying to sell. Added some lettering and that's it finished. And I decided to animate it with block. So the block animation there. And this video, as you can see, goes for exactly 15 seconds. But if I wanted it to go for less than 15 seconds, click on it, go up here to crop, and maybe make it slightly shorter than 15 seconds. There we go, slightly shorter, so it's 13.5. So I've got a 13.5 second animation. And let's play that again to see what that looks like. So it uh, puts it on the screen and then the video starts playing in the background and it's a nice effect, I think. So that's what I've got for you today. There's a lot more to creating videos in Canva. This is a really simple, quick overview. I hope you enjoy it. I'd love to hear what video about the videos you're making in Canva. Go to our Facebook page and show me some samples of your work. I'd love to see it and talk to you next time.